hands out there tonight. Because you see, once upon a time, I stood stone like at midnight, suspended in my masquerade. I combed my hair, it looked just right, and commanded the night brigade. Hey! I was over the plane and crossed by Roy. I walked on a crooked crutch. I strolled on a road to a small house home. Came out with my soul untouched. I get in the crowd and laugh at the crowd. When they sit down, I stood up. Ooh. Oh, and up. Yeah. Now the flag of piracy flew from my mast. My sails were set wing to wing. I had a jukebox graduate for first mate. She could sail, but she sure could sing. Why well, push B-52? Bombed the winter blues, put my gear set stubborn on stand. I broke all the rules, straight my own day school. Never once gave thought to land. Now there I was, I was still in high school, but I wasn't doing too good. I was doing bad in my studies and they sent me down to see the guidance counselor. And I walked in and he said, Mr. Springsteen, what seems to be your problem? So I said, well, sir, it's like you see, I don't have any interest in anything. I don't know what I want to do with myself. I don't care what's going on around me. I ain't got any faith. I don't have any hope in anything. I don't have any close interpersonal relationship with a member of the opposite sex. I don't have a... He said, no, that's, that's too big a problem. You better go home and talk to your folks about it. So I went home and I went in the kitchen and my pop was in there. And I said, Pop, man, I got sent home from school. I've been in a lot of trouble lately and I really got to talk to you about something. I don't know what's going to happen with me. I don't, I don't have any interest in anything. I daydream in class all the time. And I don't have any faith in anything in myself. I don't have any hope in anything. And he said, will you get me another beer out of the icebox? <laughs> so that was it. I decided I was going to do myself in. I was going to end it all. I was going to say goodbye, cruel world. Yeah. So I got out and I hitchhiked down to Asbury Park. I was gonna jump in the ocean and drown myself. I was sitting there on the boardwalk, contemplating the water temperature. Then all of a sudden, in the distance, this big handsome dude came walking by. He kind of 
sat down next to me and started saying my prayers. And we kind of got talking. And I was telling him all about my problems. And he started telling me all about his problems. And we cried on each other's shoulder for a while. But we decided that we'd make a good team. And we became partners. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And Clarence, he said that he knew a gypsy lady that could help us out with our troubles. 